Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Apple Dreadnoughts and to the French campaign, where our little gaggle of ships is approaching uh, the German possessions over in the Pacific. So I think we can get a naval invasion on the go. Which is the easiest? The Bismarck Archipelago, which is this one. And we might be able to queue up multiple invasions over there. That would be very handy. Uh, the naval invasion of... Uh, not Corsica, that's mine already. Sardinia continues, as does the conquest of Tripoli. Both of those should finish next turn. Uh, I do have some battles this turn. No, I don't want to do that. Uh, definitely don't want to do that. And I don't want to do that one either. So, yeah, skipping those. Uh, we do have the new Alsace class battle cruisers under construction. They will take some time um, to do, which is the main issue. But, you know, they're on, they're on the way. <laughs> they're on the way. Right, I'm going to go in the turn and see what happens. All right, we gain control of Tripoli. And, yes, naval invasion here. Oh, only 50. See, every time I think, oh, that, that naval invasion will happen, no problem. It's like, pfft. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that's not how it works. Right, an ambush. Well, we could actually probably pull that off. Uh, that seems a little bit unfair. So, no, I'm not doing either of those optional battles. How are the land invasions looking? Uh, they're all ticking over. Although, none of them have really progressed a lot. I've also noticed this. Austria pushing into northeast Italy. I didn't even notice Austria and Italy were at war. No wonder Austria is kind of on our side. Um, in fact, we are the only nation that Austria likes. Uh, amusing. How's this attack going? Not well. Okay, but this one's doing well. Interesting. Okay. Well, I, uh, I guess it's time to end the turn again. Oh, what happened here? Oh, you moved like one ship. Yeah, li literally two torpedo boats. And extended it by two months. And, oh, just oh, loathe that mechanic. It's like, if you engage my fleet, sure. If you're just going to send two torpedo boats in, go away. Right, let's send the reserve fleet from La Rochelle over as well and see what happens. All right, it's now April, one month ago, 100%. And I've realized that I have three fleets if I move the fleet from Brest, the Atlantic Squadron, if I move them up into the Adriatic, especially because the Austrians are on our side, so this won't piss them off, um, when this invasion completes, if I send one of the fleets down here to the central bed, we should be able to blockade Italy. And that will cause them a lot of problems, I think. Have a Battle here, cruisers. Okay, might might be worth a shout. Uh, that one's definitely worth a shout. Uh, no. Also no. Also no. Okay, how's the other naval invasion going? F Fifty percent because of a single heavy cruiser. Actually, piss off. I really don't like that mechanic. I don't know how to get... Uh, if I knew how to get rid of it, I would. But um, it doesn't seem possible, unfortunately. We'll move Requan over. It's just... It's so obnoxious. It really is. Um, Okie dokie. Uh, we should check in on how they do. Ooh, minus 10. They've checked. Ah, uh, yeah, they there we go. I remember in the last episode they had a very unhappy people. They've changed the government to the bad ones. 
<laughs> the Nationalists are in charge. Oh dear. Um, Italians are pretty happy, actually. That's good. We'll keep them happy, and then we'll smash them more. Germans, though, economy struggling a bit, I would say. Look at this, the US catching up. All right. Uh, ooh. It's the Dutch. Okay. Sure, Dutch helping us out. Thank you very much. Are these all 21 knot cruisers? Yes, they are. Where is the enemy? That away. <laughs> they do look amusing with the, the three forward single barrels. Uh, right. German cruiser sighted. Oh, um, uh, need to go back to Mills. So I was recording Shipyard Champions. Except it didn't apply it. There we go. Let's get the battle line turned. There we go. Now I can just blast away at each other. of damage by either side at the moment. Some torpedoes going out. No hit. Oh, no, hits. Definitely hits. Munchen. Oh, missed. But the Berlin. Oh, dud. Come on. That's just not fair. Uh, AI is just getting so many nonsenses against me today. It just feels like the game wakes up and it's like, eh, F you, buddy. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of that. I mean, destroying that cruiser that is, you know, just wandered across. Thank you. No, oh, I'll hit it with three torpedoes for good measure. Why not? Dutch. Doing a good job. On. Sink the Berlin. Be nice. Nope. It's the only next. Ooh.
Torps. Oh, he's flash firing as well. Torps miss. Doesn't matter. Right. Oh, no, 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 don't do that. <laughs> the Berlin very badly damaged. There we go. Put her down. In with the torpedoes into sinking ships seems a little harsh. Munchen retreating, I think. Proper hit. There we go. Okay, good. Just to remind the Germans that we're still happy to fight them. Uh, or rather the Dutch are. Back to the map. Alright, next up, a chance to uh, sink a couple more light cruisers and some transports. Shouldn't be, shouldn't be too much of an issue, really. Um, at least I hope not. Should be fairly straightforward. Um, one would hope. Mm -hmm. Aha! Cruisers are what we discover first. Fair enough. Transports are. Wow. Aggressive. Calls through. Getting savage there. <gasps> no! Yeah. Nearly. And. A little bit of a love tap. And. Yeah. That was just me being stupid. Oh well, as others have said, because uh, I am doing a uh, a no <laughs> no getting rid of anything ever campaign, hoarders campaign, whatever you want to call it. I um, losing ships isn't a huge issue. 
can actually be kind of useful. <laughs> but I say that, and Nearly just is fine. <laughs> She's just... Ah, uh, yeah, we can generally do that. We can just charge in, blast them to bits. No problem. Right, I'll see you on the post-battle results screen if I find these transports. Alright, there we go. It took quite a while to hunt down all eight of the transports. But, managed to get them eventually. Lovely stuff. Back to the map. I also ended the turn. And Italy is blockaded. Ha 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 ha. Uh, I'm not paying for an alliance. Thank you very much. The Germans have replaced their Admiral. Nope. Uh, okay. Free smash. A few transports going down for us. Um, nothing compared to the Germans. Oh, they're pushed back. Mm. Okay. But we do get the Bismarck Archipelago and Sardinia. Nice. Okay. In that case, can we go for German New Guinea, please? I uh, don't know which one of the two it's going to be at. So let's spread them around. Now, the fleet's up here. I think I could go for Sicily. I could also head down here and try and take um, try and take some of the African holdings that they've got. But I think, to be honest, with Italy, all I'm going to do is park ships and... Um, Blockade them into submission. Sixty-seven percent on moving into northwest Italy. Be lovely if we could take northwest Italy. Tell you what, I'll see if this succeeds or not, and if it doesn't, or it does, we'll, uh, we'll perhaps sue for peace, um, or allow the Italians to sue for peace. But basically, I, I, Italy's really bottled up at this point. Um, it's more the Germans I'm concerned about. No, don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I don't really want to do that one either. Right. Um, I'm going to click over to the next turn. All right. Uh, it, Italy asked for peace, and you know what? We'll we'll take it because I want to grab some stuff in case they collapse. So, um, Sudan would be quite useful. And South Sudan, uh, Central African Republic, sure, whatever. Okay, they don't want to give me Central African Republic, but Sudan and South Sudan, it's a nice little pickup. Get a free hit on the German ports. The chance of this success was so low, it's ridiculous. We have conquered the rest of Libya. And Germany New Guinea fails because of absolute high-grade nonsense. Um, so I'm just going to have to repeat it. Uh, thank you. Uh, I think there was like one <laughs> a ship down here or something. It got in the way. Right. Well... With Italy out of the war, and now us holding Sudan and South Sudan, uh, hopefully we can continue to move on the Germans. They do have a lot of ships down here in the Med, but I'm actually going to order my ships back. This is the reserve fleet, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Uh, so you should be in La Rochelle, I think. This is the fleet that should be in Marseille. And this is the fleet that should be in Brest. And I'm just going to move my ships back 
into port. But uh, the Mediterranean looking rather French now with us, controlling not all, but a lot of the north coast. Um, be interesting if Egypt, who, who are they allied with? Egypt. Uh, the Austro-Hungarians at the moment. Okay. Cool. I'm guessing that's still those two battleships. Yeah. So really it's focusing down on the Germans. Uh, Italy has its own problems to deal with, I would say. How close are they to collapse? Very. That's another reason, though, is like, maybe I should peace out. Um, because I don't, I don't want to collapse them and and lose the chance to grab some free territory. So, well, not free, but grab some territory. Uh, but yes, I guess it's back to invading. Okay, I've got a really weird one that the game's going to have to explain to me. I got this generating. This is an attack against the Mecklenburg and her convoy. I pressed withdraw. Explain to me how I can not withdraw from a surprise strike where I'm the attacker. Fine. I guess we're going to have to make the best of it. If the game's going to force me to do it. I guess I don't have an option. Right. There's the enemy. Uh, oh, you're a fast cruiser. And you two get going. So we've got three fast ships that we can use to try and hit them. Yeah, this thing is potentially nasty. I've been uh, quite deliberately not engaging these, hoping that, you know, about they would actually bring themselves over to Europe and fight uh, my battleships. But that has not happened. There are the transports. So I guess we're going at them with the two destroyers and the scout cruiser. At least with three ships, we're relatively spread out. Destroyed a torpedo. That's not half bad. Unfortunately, the angle is pretty bad here. Oh, the glaive. Taking a big old hit. Right. You have torpedoes. Will you fire them? Or will you at least get out of the way for the glaive? One of the two, both acceptable. Glaive fires and therefore can retreat. Poingar. Leave my poor destroyer alone. This one might hit. It does. Okay, that's a pretty big hit to Mecklenburg. Poin... Poignard. Fires hers. Which might hit as well. Which would be very nice. Two hits. 
flooding all over. Come on, might have it here. Sinking a German battleship for the cost of a destroyer would be amazing. Yes! Good job by the glaive. Oh, and the transports, I don't get to sink them apparently. I thought they fixed that. <laughs> oh well. Happy enough taking out the Mecklenburg. Uh, back to the map. Ah, that's what we need. A distraction. <laughs> Vanuatu. What are you what are you doing? Oh, I didn't didn't uh didn't uh, fire off anyway. Okay, we've got one turn. That should let us take German New Guinea, then we can take the Solomon Islands, and I think there is a territory over here. No, that's Vanuatu. Okay. Cool. So that will clear up all of the German stuff near Australia. Um, they will still have their Chinese holdings. Maybe we can get that in a peace deal. Um, but uh, it will mostly secure French Indochina, I would say. And that means we really only have Africa to worry about. The army is trying to do things. But the German uh, army logistics is 100%. So not the easiest for us to deal with. No, thank you. No, thank you. Well, we could maybe do that one. We could maybe take out the Deutschland. Though, sh hmm. With a brewery. A and two truders. It is a big convoy. Mm, no, 8,000 tons. That is uh, a little bit too spicy for me. So it is back to... Uh, yeah, back to uh, watching, waiting, looking for our chance. Are we still the number, it's number, one, number one economy? Yes, we are. Go France. Although, obviously, growth has slowed down a lot. Um, yes, I'm going to go in the turn. All right, we've taken German New Guinea. Um, however, I have noticed that the Germans are attacking the Dutch, which isn't great. So we might have to wrap this up after we take the Solomon Islands. Um... Just so that our ally isn't curb sobbed. Because um, th that, that would be bad. Uh, we'll have to see. Uh, convoy. No, battleship again. And this is two battleships. Definitely not. I think they're the same ones. Yeah, they are. The Germans have a few of them. Uh, seven. It would be nice to start knocking them down, but they don't seem keen. Although, I haven't seen many of their battleships in Germany. Which means I have an idea. The fleet from La Havre is going to go and pop themselves right here. And the fleet from Brest is going to go and support our Dutch friends and that might just blockade the Germans <laughs> which should force a response from them uh, let's see if that works fuck off <laughs> it's so annoying when you have four or five times the so called but uh, yeah Solomon's zero tons required thank you Zero. Zero tons. Don't piss me off. However, this is much more interesting. Magnum E. Long Dock. Burn. Wait a minute. This is the fleet from, like, over here. What's this fleet doing? Pissing about doing nothing. Anyway, we found three acres. Okay. I can't not have a go at them. 
Like, that's just not acceptable not to try and sink them. However, I don't hold out a huge amount of uh, expectation here. Uh, Devastation can join the division. Now, yeah, what to do with the Lynx? I want to kind of keep her back a bit. Because she's very likely to get taken out if I'm stupid with it. <laughs> uh, the Octo Funnels. But again, the AI has an amazing ability to attack your... Or, or to... The way the missions spawn, it's like... Oh yeah, I know that this would make a lot of sense. But uh, how about this instead? Right. Links, back you come. Yeah, I know you want to do super long range stuff, but let's be honest here. You're not going to hit. Not at this range, so don't be ridiculous. Really? Well, okay. Please tell me that they're going to charge in with their light cruiser and their destroyer. That would be super helpful. Now let me get rid of them. I can go normal on them. A hit. Only a partial pen. Skipping off the deck plate. Oh, that one didn't. Taking on water. Miss. Not a miss. That is a main belt pen. Goodbye, light cruiser. Okay. There's the destroyer. Again, try to keep my destroyer back a bit. It's more of a leap on the enemy when I get a chance. Although, one thing we could do is use our destroyer to go and attack theirs. While the battle line fires, try and eliminate that torpedo threat. Even if it is just getting them to waste their torps. Still helpful. I thought they might have fired. Smoke. Dump the top. Thank you. Wow, good job by the Lynx. I have to say. Uh, getting unlucky there. Oh, the Helgeland. Taking a lot of damage. And, although the Lynx are sunk... She did hit the Schlissen with her torpedo, which is absolutely fantastic. German squadron looking pretty worse for wear, actually. Battle has not gone well for the Germans so far. I've been very cautious around these ships with my heavy cruisers and things. But, uh, yeah, when they've come up against their peers, it's uh, 
Different story. Yeah, go for their Siegfried. Destroyed torpedo. Not all of them. Helgeland sinks. Oh ho! Ow. Only four torpedoes. They have now. Defensive torpedoes going out. It's kind of how I see them on these uh, or oh, on these battleships now. Oh, wait a minute. Siegfried. No. Oh, that's not good. Siegfried going out in style. Hey. is a very destroyed battleship. Right, Burn has actually taken a fair bit of damage here. So I'm going to have her start withdrawing, just in case. I know what the AI is like. Big hits. Down they go. Very good. Very good indeed. Well. <laughs> Who did the most damage there? Long Dwork. Oh, yes. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Yeah, burn taking the most. <laughs> Basically getting beaten up. Shame about the links, but she did do well. She did get those torpedoes off. Uh, and that hit really helped. Right, let's see what that does to the Germans. All right, uh, for some reason, they are not blockaded. I believe this is not to do with them having any forces up here, although they actually do have quite a lot in the Baltic now. Um, I think it is more to do... With, and they've got some battleships here. I think it's because they don't have anything up in the Yellow Sea. Because this province is a home province, I think. For China, which uh, Germany has taken. So that's a little bit annoying. Right, what is going on over here? Uh... Why? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. I need to queue that up. Right, let's see if we can take the Solomons. All right, naval invasions continue to piss me off because this is a reset to 25,000 tons. So irritating. Yeah, if you ever naval, uh, port strike them down to zero, uh, it immediately resets to the full thing. So, great. Thanks. That's just a brilliant little thing. <gasps> we found the egg here, though. And the Lubeck guarding each transports. And again, it's old. <laughs> the old ships. Why? The, <laughs> the new ships just standing around smoking a cigarette, drinking a glass of wine, <laughs> taking pictures of the. Uh, German coast and just not a care in the world. <laughs> All the old battleships are being sent into the battles. Battle after battle. And we've had our dreadnoughts around for a while. We've got second generation dreadnoughts out and about. D d no sign of them. Oh, I'm fighting in the fog. No, it's worse. Storm. Jesus. Okay. Uh, fine. Blah, blah, blah. 
<laughs> Bibbidi bobbidi. Still, a 2v1, I'll probably not get the transports given the storm, but I can get the battleship. Eventually. How far away are we? 19 kilometers is going to take forever for them to get into range. We'll just uh, fast forward that a little bit. Looks like we're getting one or two hits now that we've closed the distance a bit. But yeah, otherwise it was just going to be <laughs> it's just going to be going <laughs> and not much to talk about. Another decent hit. Okay, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, it's very nice. Seeking the German, I guess, flagship. Be a bit of a coup. Flooding. They are not well armoured, these things. Which makes me very surprised that they're any good at all, but, um, yeah, when they can hit with their 256 mm guns, they are nasty. So, yeah, when they put a, ooh, a torpedo hit, who is that from? Not even sure. Welcome. And sunk. Well, that was easier than I thought. It's even a light cruiser for us to uh, destroy. Another torpedo hit. Jesus. That was from Carno. It's very hard to see the torpedoes in this weather. But Lubeck is sunk as well. My oh my. A gear goes down. There are some transports around. I have no idea if I can find them. Uh, if not, I well, whether I can or whether I can't, I'll see you on the post-battle results screen. No sign of the buggers. Anyway, um, we sunk a battleship. That's pretty decent. Uh, back to the map. <laughs> what was I just saying in that battle about <laughs> old battleships? Absolutely. Anyway. Those two jewels <laughs> can wait for another time. Let's check in on the Germans. Yeah, we really have put a dent in them. They're down to five battleships. They are building a bunch of stuff. How's Italy doing now that they're out? Yeah. Oh, they're no longer at war with Austria. That's good for them. Oh, that's probably because they lost northeast Italy. Oh, dear. Uh, buff Austria. Oh, well. It makes things interesting for later. Uh, a war with Britain, though. That's not good for them. Uh, what else is going on? I think for us, I think we're okay, aren't we? Yes. Again, just the maybe the Chinese, maybe the Spanish in the future. And maybe, eventually, I can take the fucking Solomon Islands. Look at this shit. How does that work? <laughs> Genuinely don't get it. Park yourselves right outside. 
I don't know if that helps. 44%. Uh, anyway, all that nonsense for next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.